Happy Monday, ladies. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes with Christy. First things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> Just kidding. I am actually going in with the Mario Badoscu facial spray with rose water since she already moisturized her face before coming into this. Then I'm going in with the Mary Kay concealer in the color light beige and just making sure that I will be blending that in with my Real Techniques sponge. Since this is a photo shoot, I do not want her to have any bags, so I am blending it out completely under her eyelids. Next, I went in with the Kat Von D Lock It In foundation and I am using an oval brush to blend that out all over her face to make sure we have a good canvas to work with. In today's photo shoot, we are going for a natural look for the first look of today with her outfit. So this is going to be a very simple everyday look for most of you girls if you want to take the stuff that I did here. As I previously mentioned, this is a photo shoot. So for those of you that know, photo shoots are always more intense when it comes to the makeup. But this is a no makeup makeup look, <laughs> if that makes sense to anybody. Um, I am using the baking powder just to make sure that when I transition the looks for today's photo shoot, the powder stays the same and then I can just work with the colors that I am playing around her face. So we are doing the no makeup makeup, so I am going with a light color and going all over her lid under her brow bone just to give her that subtle look to her eye and then i'm going in with the middle color in the shade to light palette from kat von d the color is called shadow play and i am grabbing a fluffy brush and i am just outlining her crease and making sure it looks smoky so that it has a nice small contour on her eyelid Next, I'm grabbing that Shade to Light palette again from Kat Von D and using a angled brush and I'm going in with the color Sombre and Shadow Play from the palette and just giving her a light contour. Like I said, this is a no makeup makeup, but when you are taking pictures, you have to make sure that your face does catch the light so all the shadows will be caught by this contour. So I'm just going in with that. And blending it out because blending is key especially through a photo shoot then I'm going again with that real Texney sponge and grabbing my baking powder and I am just outlining so that you can see the legit contour once the pictures are taken next I'm going in with the Maybelline New York the colossal spider effect volume Express waterproof mascara I just lost my breath saying that <laughs> And I'm just coating her lashes. She has really long lashes, so we didn't use fake lashes for this look since it's an everyday makeup look. And then I am going in with a dip brow powder by Ulta Beauty and just making sure that they are visible when she is taking pictures because the camera will catch any little imperfection. <laughs> so I'm just going in with the other side of that brush and making sure that everything is nice and perfect. She was talking to Alex Rowe, the photographer, so if you catch her talking a lot, that was why. So just fill them in nice and smoothly. There you go. There you go, just brush them out nice and smoothly and then we just remove that powder because the baking is officially done. As you see, there's the outline of the contour. It's not too strong, but it just gives it a more visible outline. So when she takes pictures, it looks really nice. Next, we are going in with the Mara Badoshki facial spray and just spraying this on her skin because we are about to highlight the golds. <laughs> I am using Champagne Pop by Becca and for those of you that would like a little trick, I like to put the facial spray on before I put the highlight just so that it exaggerates the shimmer of it. You could even go extra and put it on the brush, grab the brush, facial spray, 
then grab the highlight put it on your brow on your brows excuse me on your cheekbones and it'll like really stand out so here I am just coating her lashes one more time then I'm going to the bottom lashes and we're keeping it very simple today nothing too exaggerated and that pretty much does it for today's look it's a no makeup makeup look so this is really easy honestly takes you about 10 minutes or less Next, I'm going in to do her hair for today's natural look. She wanted beachy wave loose curls. So I am just brushing out the hair, make sure there's no tangles, parting it halfway up, halfway down. So now what I'm going to do is grab the Kenra Platinum Working Spray and then grab my Tamana Bombay Hair Styling Tools, the three inch barrel, and just wrap the section of hair around the curler, hold it up in a in a long motion like that and then let it go for those of you that like to have loose curls and want them to look as natural as possible what i recommend is doing this curling each section of hair and you will see how they will turn out what i also like to do is use the inward outward motion so inward one section outward the other just so that the curls look natural and flowy because if you do all the curls in one section as i will show you later you will get a different type of style so we are just separating that there and then going in with another section and we are just going to do the exact same steps. Then I part down the middle and once again I'm going to grab those sections. Since this is the top of the head, the main those main strands in the front I'm doing inward just so that they fall out of her face when she is taking pictures. I don't want the hair in her face. I want it to look voluminous, but yet I don't want it in her face because I don't want to give away from the makeup that was done earlier. <laughs> the last strands and there you go bring it off to the back and then with your own hands spread your fingers through the hair and as you see they are becoming a natural loose curl which is what we want a very angelic simple curl and then I'm going in with the Kenra platinum finishing spray and I'm just spraying that all over just so that they don't fall throughout the photo shoot and that pretty much does it for today. Here's a little sneak peek of behind the scenes with Victoria in her shoot. This is a very simple natural look. Then we went with the cover up just to do something a little bit different. And then here we went a little bit more intense on the makeup. As you see, I did a little blush, added a little winged shadow, which I will go into depth in future videos with the loose high top bun very chic and that was pretty much it we ended up going with one more last look and it was a very Selena Quintanilla-esque look I went in here with Avenue by Colourpop a simple wing liner with lashes and left the hair as is and as you see the leather jacket just gave it that <laughs> Selena Quintanilla look so I ended up putting on Selena as the photo shoot was going on that's a little BTS for you guys and it turned out being the best look. We ended up getting published by Binu Magazine. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see the direct link for that. Thank you guys for watching.